Hi, it's uh, Mike with Itty Bitty Microfirms. Today we're going to be doing a little bit different than what our normal videos are. Uh, we got our walk-in cooler here, and we're going to convert it into being a walk-in cooler using the CoolBot and our AC unit. So we got this cooler out of an old restaurant that was shutting down. Uh, you can see that in our, our farm tour and stuff, you know, so you can watch that video as well. But today we're going to be making the hole for the air conditioner unit to go into. And uh, we're going to cut this. This was a... Uh, a bar one so they had the bar taps right here that they cut out of it so we're using that window space here we just got to make it larger we're going to cut that out we got our circular saw here with a blade on it to cut stainless steel uh, which is pretty much what this is so that's what we're going to use we're going to see if it works so got gloves on put our safety glasses on make safety first and then uh, we're going to start cutting into this and see how it works out so We got our first cut down and we got to get the rest in here so we'll finish that up okay we got this all cut and then just went to the other side and punched it out uh knocked it out and came out pretty good as it could be for first time cutting through something like that we got some things we'll have to fill in and stuff like that but no big deal uh fits pretty good so now we're ready to put the air conditioning unit in so the first thing goes in is the casing of it. Uh, we do have this board on the bottom that we put. It's just a little two by three to help uh, secure it and level it. So, see if she fits. Pretty tight on the one eye, which is good. So, that board there is going to help push against there and we can level it really good. It already comes with the top one that puts it on there. So, this should be pretty stable when the air conditioner goes in here. Shouldn't have any issues with it falling, uh, leveling out, or anything like that. So uh, I'm going to get this tied in. Okay, so we uh, just got some long screws to be able to go through this. And uh, just going to tie that in for stability and a little bit of leveling. Make sure it goes the right way. That's pretty level in there, sturdy, and we're going to uh, two men, two person operation to get the rear air conditioner unit in here now. All right, uh, I had my wonderful wife help me lift this up in here, so we got it in here. Just slides right into the box. It's really simple and easy. Just uh, just using two people to get it up into it. Uh, now we are going to hook up. It's level facing draining ways, so we got a little lean down so that way the water will drain out and we'll have a bucket and everything back there and uh we're gonna get the cool bot hooked up now and put in here and we will get onto that all right we're here with the cool bot now so uh we're going to unbox that and then we'll uh, show you what's all in there haven't opened it yet so let's get into it Good. all right first thing you got to show you that is the main part that's the cool bot So, just got it underneath there. Flap, there we go. So there's that part. Got a silver thing here. Wonder what that's for. The paperwork. So the quick start guide and how to do it. There's the step-by-step -step instructions there. And we got the Wi-Fi enabled one, so that's what this part is. So that way we can get it on our phones, knowing what's going on with it, if any issues are happening, if it's not cooling for whatever reason. Uh, this is going to send directions right to our phone, and you can control it from your phone as well. Power cord. Data cable to connect the two, I'm assuming. And these are the magical cords that are going to... Tell it to keep cooling. So we'll get that all hooked up and show you how do we do that. All 
All right, so you got two uh, cooling cables. They're both blue. Uh, one goes into the room, because that gets your room temperature. And then the fin, as that is telling it to keep cool, it needs to. And then you got the heater cable, which goes into the heater port. And then there's the power cord as well that we'll plug into the side there. We'll do that a little bit. So that's the first step. All right, now we got the cables hooked up. Uh, we're going to put the cool bot into the cooler next to the AC units. You want it on the control panel side. So ours is on the right hand side. So that's where we're going to put it. It's going to give it a little bit of space, about the same height as the top there. Uh, and now we're going to remove the temperature sensor that's here and we're going to use the heat sensor that's from the cool bot. We're going to tape them together or foil them together and put them on the outside of the box. I'll show you how we do that. So that clip comes off. We're going to go ahead and just remove that since we don't need that. I am going to bring it behind the cord here. Put these two together. And then that's what that two inch foil square was for that I gave you. And going to wrap them together. It says do not dangle them. So we're not going to dangle them. So to prevent that from dangling, just going to use some duct tape. And just tape them both gently to the side there. All right, so that's the next two steps. We got that done, we'll go on the next one. Okay, so now we're installing the cord that's the fin part, which these are the fins, so you're using the cord for the fin. It says uh, in the center, about an inch up, uh, and in the center. Uh, so the sensor was virtually almost in the center there. Uh, we took that out, obviously, to move it over there. So I'm gonna use a punch. It says you can use a pin or something, but I already have this handy. So we're just gonna go in the center here. We're just gonna open up these fins a little bit. Just enough to get that in there. Just a tiny bit more. Okay. And you just want to put the tip of the tip of this. So this is the tip of the cord. So you just want about a quarter inch of that, quarter of that in there. Not a quarter inch, a quarter of it in there. So we're going to put that in there now. So just like that. And then we're going to try to close it back down on it. Hold it in there, pushing the fins back on it. All right, feels pretty good. So we got that in there, we'll go on the next step. All right, so we gotta run the data cable for the Wi-Fi connection. The Wi-Fi has to be, a, a connection has to be on the outside. It is not waterproof, so we're going to need to drill a hole through here so we can get that data cable out of here. So get that done. All right, so we got that hole ran. We ran the cord originally in here. Connected uh, the bottom of it there and just putting a Wi-Fi connector on out here and then we will we'll get on to connecting it inside All right, we're here at the end of putting the cool bot together and everything uh, We did get the front put back on you do not put the filter in there You don't want to put that in there So but the front's got to be on there because that's where the temperature is If you have one that you don't have that you can leave the front off But we had to put it on for the control board here, so we got that, uh, you set it to the lowest setting, which is ours is 60. And then you set the cool bot to whatever temperature you want. We have our set at 34 right now. It was down to 45 when we had the door shut. Uh, so to get down there pretty fast. Uh, so we just had to start cleaning things up in here a little bit. So uh, so this is all connected uh, with the wires a little bit stood up a little bit, power is in here. So everything's connected, it's working great. Very happy so far, it's dropping really fast. Uh, it should get down to 34 really, really fast. Uh, so that's the cool bot. We got the Wi-Fi thing set up on the outside. I'll show you a picture of that. And uh, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. And you can check out all of the contents about microgreens, chickens, and uh, market garden stuff. Uh, so you can check all that out with the videos as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.